And here's your receipt. I hope you had a wonderful stay here at the Bar None. Thank you. <coughs> we had a great time. Good, good. Glad to hear it. You all come back now, you hear? Bored, bored, bored. I'm so bored. It's so boring here. Boring, boring, Buddy, bored. Buddy, out. Howdy do, bar none. What do you mean, why do we bar nuns? We, we, we don't bar nuns, that's the name of the ranch here. It's... Buddy, buddy, buddy! Kid. Do you know how many kids would give their eye teeth to be out on a dude ranch on a beautiful day like today? Six. More than six, buddy. Now, if this is the way you're going to be, you can stay right here and work. I'm going outside and appreciate all that we've got. Okay, no more bad horse. No more bad lady. Well, uh, there goes another satisfied customer from the Bradley School of Riding Terror. Don't you start. Boy, that kid could do a coyote opera. Yeah, thanks for coming in to help, guys. Hey, crying kids are not my specialty. Yeah, huh, me neither. What did you do? What did I do? That guy comes down here with his little girl. The kid is scared to death of horses. There's this macho man standing there telling her, just think of it like a big puppy. So I say to the father, you sure you want to do this? He says yes. I take his daughter, I put her up on the saddle, the big puppy snorts, and Susie Wet One jumps 10 feet, and then I have to apologize because the guests are always right. Uh, it's all in the technique, Brad. What's all in the technique, Jake? Convincing somebody that what they really want to do most in the world is exactly the thing you know that they don't want to do. Is double talk your second language? Did I ever tell you about this project I'm working on? Yeah, Jake's Guide to Life. We've heard all about it. Oh, yeah, and it says in chapter one that people will do anything if you ask them right. Yeah, some people sometimes. But you're saying that you could have gotten that kid to ride? Well, you know, I don't no want to brag, Brad, but yeah. And what about the next horsophobic person that comes here? You bet. You're on. It's a bet. The next person that comes to the barn on that looks the tiniest bit reluctant to ride. I'll you... get him on a horse. Guaranteed. What's that worth to you, Brad? Oh, let's see. Two days of chores. You get him to ride, I do yours. You don't, you do mine. Danny, you are a witness. Oh, that didn't take you long. She's too old for you, Jake. You guys, is this place insured for tornado damage? Why? I think there's about to be one. That's my Aunt Sarah. Mrs. Ernst? Mrs. X Ernst. That's off. Your aunt, no way. Oh, believe me, you don't know my Aunt Sarah. This isn't going to be as easy as you think. Well, all right, but this is under protest. See you guys. Come on. What's she doing here? I don't know. But I have a feeling her being here might just give new meaning to the words, uh, Wild West. Benjamin? What have you done to my child? What have I, what have I done to your child? What have I, what are you doing here? Where's Buddy? Get him, Benjamin, right now. Hey, Dad, <laughs> I just found this neat dead snake and... Mom! How are you, sweetie? Great. Mm. Uh, Mom, what are you doing here? Buddy, you called me yesterday. You said you're miserable here. I'm going to take you home. What? what? Buddy! Mom, I didn't mean that. There you go, overreacting as usual. Dad, I did call. Buddy, just stay out of this. There you go, pushing him away as usual. He doesn't do that, Mom. I was just mad. Uh, buddy, why don't you come help me in the lodge? Later. Dad, don't be mad at Mom. Buddy, don't you want to come home? Well, 
Not really. All right, then. Benjamin, I'm sorry I interrupted your day. Would you please call me a cab to get to the airport? Mom, no, stay. Buddy, I'm not going to stay here. Oh, come on, you have to. You came all this way. Tell her, Dad. Well, uh... Well, we are, uh, very full up right now. Uh, we might be able to squeeze you in. Melody, uh, see if you can move things around and, uh, uh, free up an empty room. Since you brought all this stuff... I had no intention of staying. Most of what you see here is work I brought for the plane. Figures. The rest is customary travel apparel. I don't know, Miss Turns, but I'll go check. Don't bother. I'm going back tonight. But I'll spend the afternoon. All right. <laughs> Come on, come on, I'll show you around the ranch. Buddy, I can't walk around a dude ranch in these high heels. Well, Dad has extra boots, don't you, Dad? Sure, I'll get them. New York isn't the same without you. I miss you, kiddo. I miss you, too. Dad, you come, too, okay? Yes, buddy, give me a second to clean up, huh? Okay. <sighs> so, what do you think, Mom? It's very beige here. Well, I'm sorry you don't approve of the color scheme of the Southwest. But too bad they didn't consult one of your decorators. I didn't say I didn't like it, Benjamin. Don't get so defensive. Yeah, Dad. I'm sorry. It's just that when I look around here, I, I see nature, beauty, the, the wonders of the world. I bet your thoughts about the ranch include how many condos would fit on the property. <laughs> you know me too well. So, uh, how many? Oh, stop it. You wouldn't do that. I can tell you love this place, even if it is kind of beige. beige. <laughs> Brad, Danny, come here, meet my mom. Hi, I'm Brad. Sarah. Hi, Danny, pleased to meet you. Uh, how are you doing in those? They take some getting used to. I was thinking if I showed up at the real estate office wearing these ridiculous as it looks, I could probably start a fashion trend. <laughs> Suits and boots. That's good. You should be in marketing. <laughs> Over here, we've got the bunkhouses. Beige bunkhouses. You haven't known fun until you've ridden a horse. You haven't known fun until you've ridden a horse. In the dictionary, next to the word fun, is a picture of a guy riding a horse. <laughs> Earth to Jake. Aunt Sarah? Uh, boy, it's been a long time. What are you doing here? Couldn't we start with an easier question? Okay, uh, how are you? Much better, I'm fine, and you? I love it here, uh, and you will too, especially the riding. <laughs> I don't think so. Oh no, you've got to, uh, you haven't known Jake, fun until- Jake, I'm not a horsey kind of gal. Uh, you've got to, it'll be great. Jake, it's a nice offer. I'd rather chew glass. Boy, uh, that's a good attitude. I don't want to ride a horse, sue me. Well, you could have been a little bit nicer about it. He's your nephew. Oh, no, nephew or no nephew. I only say no once. Yeah, well, I... Mom, I, I... I can ride. Want to see me? Want to see me ride? Not right now, honey. Why should I get on a horse? I've never done it in my life. That's exactly why, because you've never done it. I've never done it because I wouldn't like it. How do you know that? You've never tried it. You never try anything. You, you never explore. And all you... you do is cook up imaginary schemes. Mom, Dad, look at me. I'm going to lasso you guys if you don't stop yelling. We're not yelling, buddy. We're talking loudly. Yeah, that's what you always say. No. Mr. Hurt, sorry to interrupt, but there's a man in the lodge who wants to book a convention. Convention? All right, I'll, I'll be right there. That's it? End of conversation? Oh, you heard her. I've got to go back there and, and book some imaginary guests into my imaginary ranch. Well, I'd like to say it was a pleasure. Buddy, get down from there. Whatever you say, Mom. Ow! Oh, buddy, oh, buddy it's okay. Okay. What happened? Oh, right? my foot. Wh wh which foot? Uh, this one. Okay, all right. Uh, let's get you back to the lodge, buddy. Oh. Yeah, it's going to be just fine oh. now. We'll take it oh. easy. It's okay, oh. baby. It's all right. Oh. Oh. Okay, oh. up the stairs. That's it. Easy does it now. Are you sure you don't want us to call you a doctor? No, no, I'll be fine. I'm sure I'll walk again. Oh. Okay. Easy uh, now. There you are. Oh. Can we get you anything? Some juice? Uh, some comics might be nice. Comics, comics, right. Um, wait, Dad. Just stay here with us. Just for a minute. <sighs> okay, buddy. Oh. You know, it's very easy for a child to get hurt out here. Oh, right. Not like in New York. Ow!
Ow! Ow! Does what it hurt? Is it? Oh, I'm, I'm okay now. Oh, good. Is there anything we can do to make you feel better, buddy? Well, there's just one little thing. What, honey? Anything? I want you and Dad to go have a nice dinner together tonight. And that would help your foot? Buddy, I don't think... Hey, I'm the one that's injured. Come on, just do this one little favor. Well? I, I feel bad that I ruined your tour. All right, if it'll make you feel better. But I can't miss my plane. Uh, I have some work to do, um, in an hour, say? Fine, I'll see you in front. Fine. In the meantime, I'm going to stay right here with you. No, I'll be fine. Why don't you go rest up? Put on some perfume, maybe. Maybe I'll go freshen up. Don't worry, I'll be fine. You'll keep an eye on him. Sure. See you in a little. Bye. is gonna look great in my bunk. By the way, Jake, I didn't notice anyone riding with you today. Did you, Danny? Woman in high heels from New York, last name Ernst. Used to be married to the guy we work for. Stop me if I go She's on. She's not gone yet. I'm just warming her up. You gotta help me. Buddy, you're beyond help. <laughs> no, seriously, I need you to help me with my mom and dad. They agreed to have a nice romantic dinner tonight. Uh, I don't wanna be a drag, buddy, but they didn't seem all that romantic together. Yeah, but they can be. I know they can. My mom didn't come here just to get me. She wanted to see my dad. I know it. And I know that he still loves her. You think so? Yeah. Well, then, let's get to it. Fred, you can buy the table stuff, some candles. I'll get my Paula Abdul tapes. They're having dinner in an hour. <laughs> an hour? Oh. All right, you think we can do it, guys? Yeah. yeah. Oh, buddy, there you are. You know, you're supposed to be on the couch resting, and I'm supposed to be keeping an eye on you. Okay, I'm coming. In an hour, guys. Thanks. What's happening in an hour? We're turning the bar nun into romance on the range. What? Mr. Ernst and his wife are gonna have dinner, and Buddy wants us to cater it. Uh, love, American style. He, uh, <laughs> thinks they'll get back together. Wait a second. Buddy's decided his parents are gonna get back together just like that, and you guys are encouraging him? Well, we're gonna help him, yeah. <sighs> yeah, you're uh, helping him, all right. You're helping him to a broken heart. I forgot. What? Mel's parents are divorced. Wow. I've been with her all summer. She never said anything. Uh, she doesn't talk about it. Well, we better get started on a operation reconciliation. You think we're doing the right thing, guys? I don't know if it's the right thing, but we promised. I hope it works. Yeah. Let's go. <clears throat> Excuse me. Think they'd like a violin player? Oh, no, it's the Happy Horseman. Jake, what do you need? Oh, just, uh, you and Aunt Sarah. Well, uh, we're on our way out to dinner. Oh, that's right. Mm, follow me. Well, where are you taking us? And what are you wearing? Good evening. I'll be your hostess tonight. Table for two? Uh, yes. Good, that's all we have. Right this way. Mrs. Ernst? Mr. Ernst? Psst, Danny! Star Search. Here's some water for you. And enjoy. Dinner will be served shortly. This is not exactly where I expected to be having dinner tonight. <laughs> A toast? Here's to 
us getting through a meal without biting each other's heads off. <laughs> <laughs> you always were so romantic, but you're right. No fighting. Let's stick to safe topics. <laughs> How's business? It's good. I was salesperson of the month for May and June, mm. which means I'm the best at convincing people to spend more money than they have on homes that are too small for them and cost too much. I thought you loved what you do. I do. It's as fresh air. It makes me say things I don't mean. Yeah. I don't miss a city at all. I felt like a tiny little dot there. Here. I don't know, it's hard to explain. No, it isn't. You always dreamed of this. I'd think, oh, he'll settle down. He'll settle down. I'm glad you didn't settle, Benjamin. <clears throat> for you? Well. And for you. And you got the lucky potato. That entitles you to one free riding lesson, redeemable any time. Congratulations. <laughs> and I was hoping to win the refrigerator freezer. <laughs> 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 oh, careful. Candle wax. There we go. Is everything okay? Fine. That was very nice. What's that sound? Oh, you mean the coyotes? <laughs> You're joking. Uh, can we get back indoors now? Sure. Good, I can spend a little more time with Buddy and then make my plane. Or, uh, you could stay. No, I can't. But it's a nice place to visit. You're right. Then your dad gave me a buck and told me to get lost. You see, they wanted to be alone. This is great. You guys are great. Thanks. <laughs> We're glad to help, bud. Hi. Hi. Hello. How are you feeling? How's your foot? Better. How's dinner? Very nice. Did you have anything to do with arranging it? Yeah. Well, thank you. That was sweet. We'll do something even nicer tomorrow and there's more time to plan. Tomorrow? Yeah, why not? Buddy, I'm going back tonight. What? You know that. I'm going home. What about dinner? What about Dad? Dinner was lovely, but your father and I are divorced. I have a life there. He has a life here. That hasn't changed. I can't believe you. I hate you. Buddy! It's you. I thought I heard something. Don't worry, Mr. Hurts. He'll turn up soon. I know it. Yeah. I'm gonna I'm gonna check back by the lodge. Okay. I know you're here, buddy. No, I'm not. <laughs> Very funny. Come on out. Go away. Oh, I thank you. I'd love to join you. It's not gonna work. What is it? Acting up, pretending to be hurt, running away. You can't make them be together. How do you know? <sighs> Believe me, buddy, I know. I tried all those things too. Some things you haven't even thought of. Like what? <sighs> they both love you so much. I know that. And they didn't break up because of you. You know that too, don't you? Yeah. I used to hate it when my parents fought. I would wrap my pillow around my head and sing to myself as loud as I could, just to block out all that yelling and screaming. And even though most parents do fight at one time or another, and that's okay. But you see, if they're truly unhappy together, it's better off if they're apart. I hate to think of that, but it's true. Oh, and I just, I just wish I could fix it. But I can't. 
And you can't. It's not your job. Your job is just to love them both. Divorce stinks. Yeah. Sorry, I scared you. Are you okay? Yeah. Mom still here? Yeah, she didn't want to leave while you were still going. I'll go say goodnight. Buddy? Yeah? Do you want to talk? In the morning, okay? You got it. Good night, Dad. Good night, son. It sure is pretty out here. Mrs. Ernst, I wanted to say bye. Boy, that's a good question. Her cab will be here any minute. Where could she be? I don't know. I know she was up early. Wait a minute. Look at that. What? Whoa. Oh, tell me I'm hallucinating. I don't believe it. That was great, Brad. Thank you. My pleasure. So I'll take Saturday and Sunday sport. Tough going. You rode a horse. And live to tell the tale. Benjamin, thank you. Mm. Mm -hmm. uh, this is for you. Everybody needs a little fantasy in their lives. Hmm? You keep an eye on Buddy, OK? Uh, sure, Aunt Sarah. I'll see you at the end of the summer. Hi, Mom. Love you. Mm, and you. Bye. Thank you all. Goodbye. Bye -bye. Bye. Bye. Oh, Thanks, Mrs. Ernst, are you sure you'll be comfortable traveling in that outfit? Actually, I kind of like it this way. Good. All right. <laughs> see you later. Have a safe trip. Thank you. Bye-bye. Hey, Melody. Hey, what? You know, I was thinking, maybe your mom would like to come out to the ranch, you know, meet my dad. Hi. Decided on no more matchmaking for you. Yeah, this is matchmaking. You know, she might like to come out here. And... 